team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Dick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the St. Peter's Peacocks and the Tennessee Volunteers. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Volunteers are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First of all, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Second of all, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. And lastly, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Here's a double team. Fed the low block. Durham receives the ball from the baseline. Nice shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Counts getting high. Goes up for two. And in and out. Inside, Woodard handles the feed. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The Volunteers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Tries for two. For the bucket. Got it. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Inside. The skip pass is picked off. He'll regroup the offense. Looking for a good shot. Trying to pack it inside. Yank and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Makes the shot. it back out cross court he stole the ball great pressure there fantastic ball pressure the pressure got to the ball handler and he lost it oh and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul oh that's a bad bad foul right there brad on the dribble gives it up and there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Look at that spacing. Number five, receives the pass. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. For two, perfectly executed. Going to move it around the perimeter. He attempts the trifecta way off target. He shoots from outside. Buried it.
heel, go up the other way, get a layup. On the outside, Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts you can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Up and inside. Gave it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Double team now, that angle. Good fake. The shooting guard handles the pass. He wants a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them, sir. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Gets up to make the block. Take a look right here. There it is. It says, get it out of here. Thou shalt not enter thy lane. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling in all cylinders right now. The shot from the baseline. The volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Tries for two, in and out. is foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. With a deep shot from outside. Way off target. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. He looks for three. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. And he'll kick it back outside. He's got a nice shot fake. Gave it up. On the outside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? For the bucket. Doesn't go. Oh, 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Now they work it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Ten on the shot clock. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. I'm standing by the losing team's bench, and their coaching staff is reminding them, it's just your nerves. Relax. Once you've settled in, you'll come back. Defender right up on the ball. On the dribble, gives it up, fakes the jumper. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Unbelievable, look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down. He blocks the shot. Great play to take that to the basket. fouled him and he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face I'll tell you what he's disgusted but so is his coach goes up for two perfectly executed Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Long down court pass. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He makes it. There's the trap. Good job defensively. With authority. That's seven on answer. Now they'll bring it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Foul charge. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. High post flashes for the ball handler. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. He drains the shot. They work the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He tries the three ball. He buries it. Let's go to the instant replay camera. paint but went elsewhere looking for a good shot has a nice look at the basket fires away he gets it to go take another look at that play Here 
they go into transition. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's a double team. He shoots from downtown. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Number 34 with the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He's money with the shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. Well, he's on fire. Jumped in front to take it away. Hammers it down. Picks off the lazy pass. And he'll kick it back outside. Got a nice screen for two. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Man, this place will be dusty if they can score here. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Volunteers will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. The ball goes out of play. He intercepts it. On the outside, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the dribble, gives it up. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Pump fakes for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Long lead pass. Picked off. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post play. They push it up on the break. Basket falls despite the contact. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the ball. Fast break opportunity here. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. I 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great play to take that to the basket. Time to pick up the defense here now. And he'll kick it back outside. Moving it around the perimeter. From three-point land. It's good. For two, Tennessee are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. Gave it up. Sets a screen for his teammate. He drains the bucket. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Dickey's going to go up strong. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. Shot clock is dead. And the ball goes out of bounds. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. They'll work it around the arc. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Top of the circle. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dan? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. From the top of the circle. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but Nylon. At halftime, the Peacocks trail by one. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out. Tennessee has hit a ton of three-pointers in this first half, Dick. And if you ask me, Brad, I think that was the difference in the first half. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Erin. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. They scored 10 in a row. From right in the circle. Off 
the rim and no good. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential to enter the ball to the post. Up and inside. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Goes up for two. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Tries for two. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. He gets it to go. The Volunteers are up by seven. Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Penetrates and kicks back. He shoots from the angle. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Great defense. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. For two. The lay-in. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. You bet. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Great shot. Another look. Working it around the perimeter. The crowd loves this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Way off target. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. In the paint, there's a double team waiting there. He takes it away. On the dribble, gives it up, picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. The 
Point guard with the ball. That tight defense forces a five-second call. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. The Volunteers are up by ten. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Steal. They run it up into transition. The shooting guard gets the pass. Up and in. at a three. Tennessee are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they ought to keep pushing and see if they can't force a timeout. They're working around the arc. He up fakes. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Ten seconds to shoot. Tough to pressure this kid. He's got great handle, man. And I love the way he's always looking up the court. Picked off. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. He's got an open look for the shot. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brian? If only my knees weren't aching. Look at that spacing. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land for the bucket. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Peru. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. For two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter from three-point range. He drains it. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Side of the low block, unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He goes to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Screener gets the worst of that screen with the elbow. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen ball. And back they come the other way. It's stolen. Three. 
Gave it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Traditionally, this school and conference has been all about football, but now things seem to be changing at Tennessee. And they sure are. Tennessee is quickly becoming a basketball school as well. Their 25,000-seat arena is full more often than not. Post flashes. He shoots from the top of the key. Off target. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc. Looking for the open jumper. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? All right, thanks, Aaron. Ten seconds remaining on the shot. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. The Volunteers are up by 15. Takes it off him. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense, poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert, get the number game going. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Gave it up. The small forward gets the ball. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. There's a high screen. He shoots from the top of the circle. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. With the shot, off the rim and no good. Almost lost the basketball. For the deuce, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. the perimeter for two great play to take that to the basket decided against the open post and reverses the ball gave it up jumped in front to take it away Step out on that screener. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. High post flashes for the opportunity. Entry pass in the paint. A 
whistle and a foul. And coach not happy on the sideline. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. With the free one. Just like in practice. Hits that one. The Volunteers lead by 20. They work it around the perimeter. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. It. They're working around the arc. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Taken away. They're off into transition. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Surprise the opposition with a little change here. Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter. Nice low post play. Good entry to the box. Sinks it. There's the trap. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside, the power forward takes the feed. Too physical. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Steals the ball. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> For the bucket, he hits the tough shot. I'll tell you something from down with ease, Brad. That's 
spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Doesn't go. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He gets the bucket to fall. Gave it up. Intercepted. Tries for two. The lay -in. The power forward takes the pass. That's good. We're going to move it around the perimeter for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got some room. Moving it around the perimeter. Kicks off the lazy pass. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead. Working around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. The ball goes out of play. And, Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was rocking on the box. Throws it up, hoping for the best. Sinks the shot. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that. And uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you got to win it and keep on going to get that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, what this game grab and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Tennessee came, they saw, and they conquered their first round foe, Dick. I tell you, Brown, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity.